These are various activities students can do in Expressor. Some provide intelligent support and are designed primarily for classroom use. For this tutorial, we will choose the activity Build Your Own Model with no help. Let's open it. Adjust the construction area and the windows as you like. You can place tiles onto the construction area by clicking on a tile generator, then dragging and dropping the tiles where you like. Let's build a flower like this. Then you can group tiles to make a building block. Click on the highlighted tiles and select Make a Building Block. Now you can make a pattern. Type numbers in the number generator and drag and drop them to replace the question marks. Then choose how many repetitions of the building block you want and replace the last question mark. Notice that what you do in the construction area is mirrored in the general model. Your pattern is not colored. This is because you have not answered the question how many tiles. There are 5 yellow tiles, 20 red tiles, and 25 green ones. Let's animate your model. To do this, you need to unlock a number. Let's unlock the number of repetitions of your building block. Expressor chooses a random value for the unlocked number in the general model. So in this case, it does not have the same number of repetitions of the building block as your model does. Let's try animating now. Oh no, your model does not remain colored. It messes up. To avoid this, you need to build expressions that always give the correct total number of tiles. The yellow tiles are always as many as the number of repetitions. So you can replace your previous answer. You can check to see that the yellow tiles remain colored now. You can change unlocked numbers manually or by animating your model. Now let's build expressions for the other numbers of tiles. You can open the building block properties window. You can build expressions in the construction area using numbers from your building block properties and from your patterns properties. and then replacing your previous answers. Let's check the expression for the green tiles. It worked! You can also build expressions right in the Pattern Properties window. Notice that you can drop numbers to the left or to the right of other expressions. Now let's check that your model no longer messes up. However, the general model is still uncolored. In order to color the general model, you need to replace the question mark in the model rule area with an expression that always gives the correct total number of tiles for your model. Let's do this. You can build an expression for the model rule by using the expressions you already built. In this case, you need to add the expressions for the numbers of green, red, and yellow tiles. Let's try animating now. Hooray! It worked! You can also name numbers. Notice that in the general model, you can see the random values assigned to the unlocked number. Now you try to build a model like this one. 